Well, me and this little monkey come do some hog hunting. Come change the battery out in the camera. We got a dead red bird in here and a live one. Let's do the right thing, Katie. Third clip. All right. Now, here you go. Take that one to the vet. It'll be all right. All right. Let's change our batteries and go get in one of these stands and. Try to do some hog hunting. Well, get the cows to leave us alone. I'm gonna sit in Melissa's stand with cowgirl Katie. See if we can do some hog deterrent. Are we gonna get anything? I don't know. Oh boy. She's not thinking positive. Ooh, we gotta wait till dark. Oh, there goes all the deer. <laughs> oh well, we're not hunting deer. This deer, what? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Probably more for to come out of the tree. Another deer. Thirteen. Fourteen. Well, another one. Fifteen. Trying to sneak up here. Don't be quiet, Katie. Here, <sighs> no pigs. It's dark. How this thing is still filming in the dark, I'll never know. Yeah. It's time to go home. All right, a little information on this next little clip that's coming up. Uh, happened at my other job, uh, the big truck that's on its side, uh, ran the red light, supposedly, and uh, there was a vehicle that uh, hit it in the trailer tires. Uh, the driver of the big truck swerved to miss the vehicle, and ended up on his side, up against the guardrail. Uh, no major injuries. Uh, the other vehicle, everybody walked away. The driver of the big truck, you know, nothing major. Bumps and bruises. So, uh, enjoy the clip of uh, them uprighting it. Cone Company did an awesome job.
hay this morning. Supposed to be a lot of rain coming in. So get some hay out before the rain gets here. I had to order out. Let's fix that. One more bale, feed it up, call the cows up. We'll be on our way. Nice and still out here this morning. Uh, Melissa's battery getting a little low in her camera, so we're gonna swap it out. We use five points. These rechargeable batteries last a whole lot longer than the uh, AA batteries that you can put in them. I've tried every kind of AA, and out here where there's not a whole lot of uh, good cell service, <coughs> it sucks the batteries down pretty good. Man, that sun is coming up bright. Anyway, so we're gonna swap the spare battery out. Cows are coming up. Put this one on the charger. Bring it back for next time. I like she's get out low on corn. So we'll have to come out here and put a little corn in it this week. Like I said, we got a lot of rain coming Saturday. Rain almost 10 inches last week. So going to be sloppy again. Something keeps taking my camera and bumping it, moving it around. So take a good old two by four, stick behind it. Hopefully it'll secure a little more to the post and keep them wiggling around. Right now it's kind of pointed at the ground and it was going off all night long. And you get a deer foot or a coon or during the day you get a squirrel, but nothing what's in the background. So we're gonna fix that this morning.
about as good as we're gonna get it. If we don't have any red birds in the uh, cage, so things are looking up. <clears throat> Hopefully, we get some good pictures tonight. This is Sandy. Bought a bunch of cows from a guy, and he pretty much gave this one to me because uh, she got a hip all out of whack. She walks like a crab. She had a calf on her at the time, and uh, he said, I'll give her to you. I said, well, I'll hang on to her. She has another calf. We'll keep her around. Ain't like she's going to run away. Nothing like that. <clears throat> Hadn't been seeing a lot of progress. That leg is still twisted around in the back. I don't know if y'all can see it. Come out here today. Look at this. Hey, Junior. And he's got a good little Charlotte baby. So, let's see what she does. We had to put a lot of feed to her. She's looked like that ever since we got her. But for free, what you gonna do? What you think, Junior? Now, we got one more that's supposed to have a calf. That's a heifer. Gonna be the first calf. We gotta go find her. She's nowhere to be found. Well, I went looking for that other cow, or other heifer, I guess you could say. She's a cow now because I found her. Black calf on the ground. He's doing good. Problem is, when I got the camera out to start filming, she took off. And I didn't feel like chasing her because I've already seen her alive. Calf's alive, calf doing well. So, if you want to go see her, you're more than welcome to, yeah, she's off in there somewhere. But I did see her. She's alive and well. Calf's doing good. They're good to go. It's a good day, Tater. Two calves on the ground at this place. Nothing new at the other place. I'm going to go to the house, get a little rat killing done. Maybe sit down and drink cold beer. Anyway, y'all have a good evening. Later. Whew. All right, folks, well, that about does it for that video. Uh, found what I was looking for as far as cow-wise, and glad all the calves were doing good and didn't have to pull nothing. So uh, something that did not show up in the video is the other day I came home from work, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to jump on the Can-Am and go back to the back and uh, look at the cows and check them out. It was getting close to being dark, but I made it home just enough time to jump on it and take off. Well, I jump on it. And the battery was dead. So, uh, got the battery charger out. Come to find out that uh, some barn cats that I didn't know we had were calling around on my can am and turned on all of my LED light bars and interior lights and stuff like that and killed my battery. So, luckily, I was able to jump it off. We went back and got there just in time. I mean, barely enough light to count the cows, but uh, everything was good. Uh, I didn't get to video any of that just because it, uh, it had me all kind of aggravated. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along. Like and subscribe. See y'all later.